Looks like there's another aborted swarm here. She may have gone out and then decided to come back. She could be in that ball there. I'm probably just gonna leave them alone. Let her figure out what she wants to do. Or... Sorry, Kent told me it's the worker bees that decide, so let them decide what they wanna do with her. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so here we are with the colony that I thought was an aborted swarm. And now I'm not so sure. I think it, it's either an aborted swarm or, see, last time I checked this colony, I thought they were trying to requeen themselves. So what very well could have happened is the queen was returning from her mating flight and she landed up top there. And I thought that might have happened. So I actually started just pulling bees off from the top here and letting them fall on the landing board. And I got lucky, got me a nice newly made a queen here. Oop, there she is. Saw her running around right there on the front entrance, picked her up, grabbed her real quick. And now she's gonna get a nice green dot. It's hard to tell sometimes if those are aborted swarms and they're swarming with a virgin or the primary queen. So one of two things, either that is a swarm and they left and this is their queen. I just don't think that's the case. And I'm just kind of talking this out loud, working it through it with you guys. And I was gonna put all those bees and her in this nuke, but I need to go through this colony to check queen right status if there's eggs in here and I have a laying queen in here then that's exactly what happened this queen needs to stay out and go in her own nuke box with those bees if that's not the case and this hive is queenless this is very likely their queen that was trying to return from her mating flights so I'm going to go ahead and give her a green dot here just got done marking another queen um, because there was a swarm this morning out there in the field that I caught. And sure enough, there was a mated queen in it and she got herself a nice little green dot. So I'm gonna leave her to the side for now and wait for that uh, marker to dry. But I'm gonna go ahead and go through this colony real quick. And check for queen status. I wonder if they're even starting to really fill up any supers. We'll find out pretty quick here. Oh, well, of course, that's gonna knock some of the bees off the front. That's okay. It may not be much up in this super yet. Of course, the ants have found it. Nah, there's not many bees up here. Man, I hate ants. The bees take care of them, they know how to take care of them, but they are a nuisance. And all these bees are gonna go flying that are clustered on the front, but so be it. Again, this may be their colony. Just checking to see if I see another queen crawling around here, mm -hmm. and I don't. So I'm just gonna set this super off to the side. They're not really messing with this super yet either, so I just really think these bees were, oops, I knew that was going to happen, as sure as I did that. And I'm going to have to, I didn't bring my spacer with me, so guess what I get to do? Should have set these, because I knew the bees didn't have it, these frames propolis in yet, should have set them that way. Oh well, we'll be all right. But I suspect that is this colony's queen. We're gonna find out. If I don't see any eggs in here, she's going in.
nectar. This is all nectar. Starting to cap it. Turn it into honey. Let's check this next frame. I bet we don't see much brood in here. Of course, I've been wrong. There's capped brood. So that is emerging and they're back filling with nectar. So we're definitely in a flow here. I'm looking here, no signs of any eggs or larva. Like I said, I had this hive flagged as likely requeening itself after swarming. I think that primary queen was already gone. Same. Well, I've lost my daylight. I really wasn't trying to do this four or five o'clock in the afternoon, but let's see if I can get some sun here. I don't see, I don't see any eggs. Oh. And these, there's some queen cells in here that are blown. She likely came out of one of them. Same thing. We got bee bread. We've got brood that's emerging. Take a look at this side. Looking down in these cells, and there's there's nothing. So let's keep working my way through this. I think I hear piping. I'm trying to figure out where it's coming from. No eggs. So I was right. Uh, this colony is requeening itself and did so successfully. She's right there. I, I hear piping. Where is, oh, there she is. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. Uh, Houston, now we got a problem. We got a nice queen. Oh, they're trying to ball her. Let me go get the camera bring you in here man bees crazy man where is she there she is and it looked like they were trying to I don't know if you can see her she's right in the middle that one bee is on her trying to sting her so they have chosen and this one is not the winner look at that so I'm still planning, even though I really kind of want to save this queen though. I mean, she might be, maybe I can give her away to a friend or something, but they clearly don't like her. So I'll end up doing a direct introduction. I'm going to, I'm going to grab a queen cage, save this girl. Um, and I'll do a direct introduction of the other queen. The one that I just marked, and if they show that they've accepted her, then I'll try to find this gal at home. So stay tuned. Let me let me grab her real quick. Okay, I rescued her, and I've got her in here. And so now I want to see how they treat this gal. So I'm going to do a direct introduction and see if there's any signs of aggressiveness. And then uh, if they accept her, I'm going to put her back down here and close this colony up. So let's see how they treat her. Okay, there she is, focus. She just stuck her head down in a cell. 
I'd like to see some nurse bees start to feed her. Maybe she's feeding herself. <laughs> Years that they like her. Are they feeding her? Let's see. I don't see any signs of aggression. Not like they were trying to get rid of that other one. Okay, I think we're good, guys. Let's uh, let's get her back in the. Uh, let's put her in the colony. She seems to be doing just fine. Oh wait a minute. No. I think we're good. It's gonna take her uh, maybe a day or two to to get acclimated, especially if she just returned from her uh, mating fight. There's a bee on her back, but I don't. Kid, I'm not seeing any signs of aggression, so. I think we're good. I'm gonna put her in here. Look at this virgin's going, or I don't know if she's a virgin or what, but she's going nuts in here. All right, put this girl right in here. Cause I assume that's what she was trying to do. She was trying to get in here on her own, so. All right. Let's get this colony put back together. <sighs> Always something with bees, isn't it? I think we're good though. I think this colony is gonna be just fine. And that's why you gotta check because if I had just automatically assumed that that was indeed an aborted swarm and like I thought it was and threw them in a nuke, this colony could have ended up uh, queenless. Even though there was a queen in there, they had obviously decided she was not the one. Now, if that other queen never returned, maybe they would have started to accept this one. I don't know, but bees know best, so... That's what we're going with. So let's get this queen excluder back on here. All right. And, uh, oh, I need to pause the video and go get my spacer tool. I'll be right back. Okay, got the spacer, so let's get this colony put back together here. Let's see, I think they were. Man, they are all over that queen inside the uh, cup there. Now, what I am going to do is open this up and allow the bees to uh, come and go through here, and maybe that'll get them to start filling these up. But the fact they weren't queen right is probably one of the reasons why. Although, usually bees will still forage. I mean, that's all they have to do when they're wait waiting to requeen. So, I'm not sure why... They haven't started on these supers yet, but again, they, they've been uh, storing it down there in the deep, so, which is perfectly fine. Let's get this next one on, open this up. Now. 
sometimes and, and now you know why I had those discs actually completely closed off because I knew that this colony was requeening itself and I did not want her landing in the supers which she absolutely tried to do and then couldn't figure out where the entrance was so that's why all the bees were clustering there but I helped her out she's good to go now so and I called my buddy Jason and uh, he is going to take this queen for me how well you're going to be able to see her in the cage but i've had to knock bees off of her they're just and she's she's feisty she must be pretty stinky i don't think she's a virgin but she may be in the process of going on her mating flights and again there can only be one so to speak so the bees have chosen but we'll find this gal a good home he's going to come grab her and he's got a queenless colony right now that i was just over there helping him with so he's going to pop her in for 24 hours and do a direct introduction and see if they accept her. So that's what beekeepers do. We help each other out. Okay, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.